Hi everybody. So first of all, I would like to thank the organizer for uh, give us, giving us the opportunity to present our tool today. And um, in a way, I will step a little bit back um, and start with two observations. Um, the first thing is that about 50% of microdata uh, are not deposited in public repositories. So there is a huge amount of data that is lost. And for the second observation is that the set of microarray data, for instance, but it's not limited to microarray data, it's just an example. Uh, the set that is available is often uh, weakly annotated, often with free text, and it's often very uh, much needed that people have to go back to initial publication and perform additional layer curation and re-annotation before they, the data set is in a, in a state where it can be really be uh, made meaningful. And this is very, all the more important that in a kind of evidence-based information that we want to build, um, we are still struggling in getting good annotation for the data set that we are interested in. And there is a huge amount of work of re annotation to be done. So what we are trying to do is kind of set a trap for biologists to uh, annotate their experiments a little bit better. And I will present a couple of tools that we have uh, put together uh, in this project. So this is the kind of uh, ISA infrastructure that we have set up. And uh, more specifically, the task we were uh, faced with is to cope with uh, experiments which dealt with many different techniques. So ranging from uh, gene expression profiling using DNA microarrays uh, to um, protein identification using mass spectrometry, metabolite profiling using NMR or mass spectrometry. So a number of assays. And right now, most of the repositories are established by a technique specifically a center to microarrays, for instance. So people have to, if they want to deposit this kind of data in public repositories, they have to uh, represent the information uh, two or three times, the uh, information about the experimental design, the variables, and things like that. And we thought maybe uh, there could be a better way to do that. Um, I hope you can see uh, the information that I represent here. Uh, so this is the kind of uh, elements of the eyes infrastructure where we can define uh, uh, studies that can be grouped together uh, under investigation and then we declare the different kind of the size. Um, here, typically the kind of experiments that we are uh, um, supporting, where people are assembling a number of, of uh, organs, of course, biomedical, biomaterial, and then assaying those uh, elements with a number of techniques. Um, so this is the kind of infrastructure that we have developed. At, at the center, there is this uh, spreadsheet editor, the Isaac editor, which can be configured to use to consume a number of resources for tagging and editing um, uh, experiments, depending on the field we're working with. And then to facilitate the task from uh, those biologists using our tools to deposit the data to public repositories when publication has been accepted, we have a tool which converts to uh, well accepted uh, formats uh, used by public repositories such as the Mesh Tab from Express, the Pride ML at EBR from the Mass Spectrometry and Proteomics, and the SRA Short Read Archive XML. And of course, the serialization uh, to XML format built in our tool. Uh, we would like to extend uh, to the RDF world, and this is the main reason why we are here, and we are so grateful to the organizer to, the organizer to have invited us here to learn. So uh, the tool also emphasizes on uh, linking up the, mi the minimum information uh, for uh, re annotation requirements with a set of resources, uh, semantic artifacts. I highlight here uh, the, the Oracle Foundry, but it's not limited to the one to the artifacts served by the Oracle uh, Of course, we need the syntax, some kind of uh, vehicle to uh, send the, met the metadata payload around, and we've decided to the ISA tab, but this is just a detail. And um, the main tool, one of the key tools is the configurator that support that outputs a number of uh, XML files which define the different asset tables with the annotation requirements. And this set of XML files are consumed by the, uh, the spreadsheet editor to build the spreadsheet and the tables people are comfortable with. And this gives you the kind of um, um, uh, feel and, and list the different components of the tool. So at the core, we've got a spreadsheet because people are comfortable with that. Um, and then we've tried to entice them using the tool and report the data by providing a number of widgets that can support annotation. So we've got the ontology mapping tagging tool, we've got an ontology search, a visualization component, file uh, clever file chooser, uh, and then for people wanting to connect to the uh, 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 core lab facilities, uh, we have a capability to have put QR codes. So the idea with uh, instead of waiting until the very last moment before the publication, we shift the timeline of 
um, uh, reporting from the planning. So it, it should be uh, clear from with our tool that people can start planning the experiment within our tool, declaring all the variable of the experimental design, set up all the framework, the spreadsheet templates that are needed, and as they go along and the, the, the experiment process progresses, they can add an augmented annotation for their uh, experiment. So I would like to point a few things in our tool that allow us to uh, give a semantic inquiry uh, from the syntax to the number of resources. I, I mostly will be mentioning the ontology of biomedical investigation because I've been involved in, this, in developing it with several other people in the room. Uh, but typically we use other terms to describe all the assays, so the process that produces the app from uh, an input material. And uh, we've got this kind of uh, example here. Um, then, uh, the core of the model is a graph as well. So you just navigate from nodes to the next node in a workflow by, using, uh, by applying a protocol. And um, the node can be either a material, so it could be a biological sample, or it could be a data node in case we start transforming uh, the raw reads uh, from your sequence tree or the sub file that you've got from your affinitrix experiment into other kind of metrics, so gene differentiated objects, expressed genes, and so forth. And then we can tag for every field, this is an example of the configuration uh, component, where we can declare for every field how it should be uh, mapped to um, um, a specific protocol. For instance, here the protocol ref can be tagged with the nucleation acid extraction protocol. By hitting this button, we can um, essentially display um, within, from within the tool the hierarchy coming from OB. We have all the list of classes, and we can start having a kind of uh, uh, capability to validate the workflow and to detect errors if people have uh, poorly annotated the error of their protocol between the two, any two nodes. Uh, so, for instance, we can detect cases where people have uh, uh, set up a uh, protocol which is not a data transformation that, that it should be. Um, so, yes, I will progress like this. And we can have this configuration available um, uh, for any, kind, any other field that I showed earlier on. So, here it shows that we can have, I'm showing examples for OB, but you can see here in this panel that we access all the ontology that are served by the NC bio, bio portal. So this is a very nice way to uh, configure your, your field and allow people, when the, the tool, the Isaac creator, this is a view from the Isaac creator, so you recognize the spreadsheet layout, uh, but this is to show that in this particular field, the photos cytometry instruments is coming straight from OB and people have a restricted set of values they can choose from. Um, so another component that we have built in the tool so that people are comfortable with free text, so it's kind of two-prong attack, uh, people can either pick and choose from a resource, but we can also uh, allow them to enter free text, and then they can run, uh, we call the NC bio annotator, uh, to which has uh, presented the tool, but we just call the web service from our tool, and uh, the tool will collect all the free text and start tagging, proposing, prompting uh, suggestions, um, depending also on the configuration that you use, with some fields have been preset to use a specific ontology, so you can say, okay, for instance, for all the field, uh, where I expected chemical compound, I would only select uh, ontologies, a term coming from KB, and the tool will replace, perform the replacement and store uh, the information. So you've got this kind of semantic inquiry. Both on the ISA tab and MOT, we, we have the mapping or some correspondence between uh, our uh, OB uh, classes and the syntactic element in, 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 in ISA syntax, but also the values that are entered can be uh, tagged with a number of resources, so we try to restrict as much as we can uh, the free text occurring in our, in our tool. Uh, well, the reason why we are here is essentially to uh, now start working on a kind of uh, RDF serialization of this information. So I, I was very keen to hear from Manila and many other uh, the kind of good practice that we should uh, be following. Um, so uh, just at a short snippet, we are currently for those elements trying to produce, um, uh, to use rely on uh, UUIDs to, to, to identify these elements, but anything that, all the patterns that could be uh, uh, leveraged and recommendation, we are very curious and eager to, to hear from, from the crowd. So there is a publication if you want to know more, and these are the people that I need to send, apart from the organizers again. Uh, so Eamon for all the graphic design and coding, um, Susanna for all the fun, funding, Christopher for the MIDI, uh, and, the MIDI and, well, and the important links are all here. And then we also have a, a number of collaborators that is growing at the moment, so we have got people at uh, Harvard doing stem cell research that have adopted the entire tool, and then we've got people doing uh, plant biology as well in, in Germany, large facility that are uh, 
strong massive input of data and mass spectrometry metabolite database. So the community of users using the format is growing and we are really keen to have people involved and contributing. Everything is open source from GitHub and you are free to, to download and ask us questions. Thank you very much for your attention.